Hi viewers, good evening. This is Anantaram International Arbiter in Chess. And we are here in Dr. Mahalingam College of Engineering and Technology, Pollachi near Coimbatore, for the 42nd National Team Chess Championship and the 32nd National Team Chess Championship of Women. So team championship of late is gaining very importance. Uh, importance. The thing is because uh, chess is mainly considered as a game of individuals. But in contradiction, the team championship brings the players together. It brings unity and uh, it has a lot of planning and strategy. Unlike other uh, individual games, it has team strategy we have to apply. Four players will be playing at a given time. And normally they have five players and fifth player will be the reserve. So when somebody in fourth, uh, among the top four players is taking rest, the fifth player will come in. So it's a kind of uh, rotation where uh, some players may take rest if they are not in good form. So the captain has to play a vital role in the success of the team tournament. They have to discuss among themselves who is to be fielded today for the first round, today for the second round. They, they uh, together they sit and discuss and decide the team, compo team composition for the given round. Uh, team championship is gaining very much importance because uh, we have European Club Cup where uh, most of our Indians play. In the recent European Club Cup, we had Gukesh, Anand, uh, Hari Krishna, and uh, Erigaisi Arjun, and so many players played. Somewhat the history of the, um, I can say, the na national team championship, but anyhow, we have, we have uh, conducted it for 42 years. About 10 years back, or even, even uh, less than 10 years, team championship was uh, not considered as a very big tournament. Because most of the uh, players, the grandmasters, were reluctant to take part in that game, uh, afraid that they may lose their uh, uh, rating points and all. But now, once it has been made a norm tournament, now uh, about eight years back, it has been converted to a norm tournament. So when GMs participate, many players are getting a chance to get their norms in team tournaments. And now, more and more grandmasters are coming into the tournament, team tournament. They are playing for their state or playing for their uh, institutions. In this uh, 42nd National uh, Team Chess Championship, we have about 19 Grand Masters and more than 10 International Masters. That tells you the strength of the tournament, how much strong it is. And if you take the top seeded PSPB team, we have three former national champions. Kathi and Morali, who is the highest rated player in the tournament, he has got a rating of 2623 approximately. Then we have Ajiban, 2614, he is twice the national champion. And of course, we have the experienced uh, Surya Sekhar Kanguli, who has won the national championship for six times in a row. That is an that's a record equal to that of Mr. Aaron, who also has won six times in a row. Consecutively, has won six times. So, such an experienced player, uh, um, our uh, Surya Sekhar Kanguli. So, these three players put together will give a very good, strong uh, strength to the PSP Petroleum Sports Promotion Board team. And after the promotion, uh, PSPB team, we have Air Force Authority of India team, which also has uh, the uh, triple national champion, what you call this triple national championship in Arvind. Uh, so, uh, Arvind. Um, so he has won the standard rapid and bits in the same calendar year, calendar year which, has no, which nobody has done so far in the Indian history of chess. So it's a unique record, um, uh, record for, held by Arvind Chitam. He is playing for Air Force Authority of India and he is supported by other uh, grandmasters. Of course, Asha Bharatakoti is not playing, but Sankal Gupta is playing, Abhimanyu Puranik is playing. They are all uh, very strong players with a rating more than 2500, near, nearly 2600. And we have young Harshavardhan, G.B. Harshavardhan, international master from Tamil Nadu. And he is also an upcoming player. So these four players constitute the Air Force Authority of India team. Then we have the railway team. Railway has fielded uh, two teams, Railways A and B, as usually they do in the uh, last several years. And Railway A, A team has strong players like Sopnil Dopade. Sopnil Dopade is playing as a strong player. Then Grandmaster Kartian. These players are uh, forming a very strong team for, uh, uh, I mean, A team. For B team, Sham Nikhil. Uh, he is in search of his third GM norm for a long number of years. Hope he will get it in this uh, tournament. Then, of course, former Asian junior champion Deepan Chakravarti. And many more uh, international masters are playing. 
CRG Krishna. They are all well experienced team. The B team is also equally strong. And this time, for the first time in the history of Tamil Nadu State Chess, we are fielding a all India, all GMs team. We have uh, we have the eligibility as a host. We have the eligibility field four teams. Each state is uh, eligible to uh, to be represented by three teams. As host, Tamil Nadu state is fielding four teams, and one of them is the strongest uh, GM team, wherein you have well experienced uh, player as well as a coach, very good coach, Grandmaster Sham Sundar, who has been off late recently. He is uh, coaching the Indian team, Indian women team especially. And then we have young Pranesh, the latest grandmaster from in India. He is playing here. Then youngsters like Inian and Arjun Kalya. And besides, we have experienced Akash, G. Akash, a former national champion. And he has been not into active chess, but now in the past one year, he has again come back into chess and he is playing actively. So they also have a team having a rate. Uh, Average rating about 2500. So these teams are having rating average about 2500. And we have grandmasters in other teams like LIC. Sri Ramja is representing LIC. Like this, we have a formidable, formidable team. In total, we have um, we have uh, 30 teams. 30 teams in the men's section, open section, and 14 teams in the women's section. In the women's section, again, we have the PSP. Like uh, in the men's section, Petroleum Sports Promotion Board is heading the list of seeding. And in the list of side also, in the women's side also, they are uh, heading the list, leading the uh, seeding list. TSVB is represented by former Asian Championship, Asian Champion Padmini Rao, and former National Champions uh, Swamiya Swaminath and Marianne Gomes. Like this, they have a very formidable uh, team. And of course, like in the men's team, we have the second serie team is Air Force Authority of India team with twice national champion and current national champion Divya Deshmukh and uh, former national champion uh, Vantika Agarwa. Like this, we have uh, then Arpita Mukherjee. We have strong team, young and energy team. team. And Tamil Nadu is also having a very good team uh, led by several uh, upcoming youngsters as well as experienced players. Deepan Chakravarti's sister Raja Surya is uh, playing in the A team and, her cousin, and his cousin Raja Dashni is playing for B team. So we have uh, a yeah, mixer strong teams, a mixer of uh, youth and experience. And hope you will have very interesting fights on all the tables in, the, in both men and uh, women. We will have a treat to watch. So now that you know that some of the biggest names of Indian chess are going to fight it out for the team championships from tomorrow, here is your chance to make it big. All you need to do is to predict the winner of each category in the open and the women section. For example, if you think that in both open and women section, PSPB is going to take it to take the championship home, so you have to write open PSPB men and women. PSPP women. So one lucky winner will get a very special gift which we will announce very soon and you have to submit it on the 15th of February is the last date and the winners will be selected after the finals. So cheer for your favorite team and get a chance to win an exclusive gift camper from Chessbase India and keep following the national teams throughout this entire week.